Number 18. An electron in a TV CRT moves with a speed of 6 times 10 to the 7 meters per second in a direction perpendicular to the Earth's field, which has a strength of 5 times 10 to the minus 5th Tesla. So the field that they're talking about is the magnetic field there. All right. Um, letter A. What strength electric field must be applied perpendicular to the Earth's field to make the electron move uh, in a straight line. So basically, take a look at number 17. All right, I went over this concept. So we're going to look at this formula, that the force acting on a moved uh, a moving charged particle in a magnetic field will equal the charge of that particle multiplied by the velocity of that particle multiplied by the strength of the magnetic field multiplied by then the sine of theta. Okay? Now remember, they're asking for electric field, and it would be good to note that the units of electric field are newtons per coulomb. So take a look at this formula. Isn't force measured in newtons? Isn't charge measured in coulombs? So wait a minute. If I just divide the charge on out from both sides, then isn't this newtons per coulomb? Uh, yes. And if this is newtons per coulomb, is that known as electric field? Yes. So you can just write capital E now. So here's the formula. Notice they told you that it's perpendicular, so what's the theta? 90 degrees, sine of 90 is 1. So now all you need to do is just plug in the velocity that's given, right? Isn't this great? Times 10 to the 7th multiplied by the magnetic field of 5 times 10 to the minus 5th. And look, lo and behold, that's what you got. So this is going to be 6 times 10 to the 7th multiplied by 5 times 10 to the minus 5th. 3,000. Or in other words, 3.00 times 10 to the 3rd newtons per coulomb. Beautiful. So that takes care of letter A. Now letter B, it's asking uh, if this is done between plates separated by one centimeter, what is the voltage? So we have to remember, uh, you can remember the units of voltage, I mean that's volts, but you can also remember that it is newton meter per coulomb. In other words, newton meter, uh, excuse me, in other words, newtons per coulomb times meter. So what we're saying is that the voltage is equal to the electric field multiplied by the distance. All right. So here what we find is that the electric field we found is 3 times 10 to the 3. And the distance there is 1 centimeter, but you know we need that in meters, so just simply take that and multiply it by 10 to the minus 2. And now, what are you going to get? So when you do the math, it's going to be now 3.00 times 10 to the 1. All right? Uh, volts. AKA about 30 volts. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. If uh, it does, subscribe, like, tell your friends. And if it doesn't, yeah, subscribe, like, and uh, tell your friends anyway. <laughs> tell them it didn't help, right? All right. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Take care.